What up YouTube? How's it going? The Sacro Balls. Welcome to the channel. What do you guys see? Beautiful tank, right? Look at this. Gorgeous. So, as you see the title says, Featherfin Rainbowfish. Just acclimated it. Put it in, put them in there. And there's four of them in here. They're on top, right there. They're just new residents. They're not swimming too much yet. They just got in here a minute ago. There's a Rangora right there. Galaxy. Really pretty colors. He's having fun with one of the female Rambo fish. So those are small Rambo fish. They go beautiful with the ten gallon. Hey yo. Michigan Aquatics, how's it going? Thanks for visiting the channel. This is next to my bed. I sleep right here. Here's my pillow. And this is my bed. Steve, what's up? It's looking good, huh? I just added this uh, beautiful pink-tailed... Look at that crystal shrimp in there swimming around. So this beautiful pink-tailed rainbow fish. There's a female. The male has a pink tail on him. Beautiful pinks. I thought it would bring some color to the tank. This is uh, my 10 gallon nano tank planted from top to bottom. Here, check it out. This is inspired by Takashi Amano, the legendary aquascaper. Well, the thing is, I grew up somewhere like that man with a lot of nature. And the area that I grew up, a city called Bukfaya, it's in Lebanon. It's a very nice place in the mountain where there's a nice river going down. And uh, wintertime, it snows, a lot of skiing going on, beautiful people, beautiful food, amazing sunshine. Man, it's like a land of a heaven, million heavens. So I seen, I wandered there by myself walked around that riverbed down like literally it's not a riverbed it's not man-made it's a river so i went down walking and seen a lot of salamanders myself i was a herper since i was a little boy and so it was during the daytime i visited there many times when i grew up there's those rainbow fish just add them in there i put four in there four and I got three in the other tank. There's another tank on the other side of my bed. And that one right there. We'll see those later, how they're doing. So, a pea puffer? Oh no, man, look. I would not put a pea puffer in this tank even if you give me a million dollar. Why? It will eat all these beautiful snails as you see in my tank. You see this snail right here on the glass? There's a bunch of dots on there. Those are little baby snails. So I like those snails because they clean up the tank. They eat the algae growing. Yeah, but one would do damage, big damage. One pea puffer. I had a bunch of them before. And it would do big damage. No joke. Pea puffers are... Alright, check that boy out. It's got nice and pink colors. Can you see it? And I believe the rest of them are females. I'm not sure, but... Only one of them has pink on it, which is that one. 
and then the other t the other tank the other ones have pink one of them have pink or actually two of them have pink so i think they're two boys and one female so i put them in two different tanks i hear these guys don't make it too much they don't like too much water change so this is established tank i don't do much to this it's sitting there it's got a little hang on back filter no co2 whatsoever guys I do, I do, I'm lying, sorry. I do do sometimes those Excel, Flourish Excel. That is a CO2 for the plants, see? It's by, made by CCAP, potassium fluoride, state of iron, like the carbon. So it's a carbon plant for aquarium tanks. That's the only source of CO2. I don't like those cardinals. Uh, my favorite fish is uh, this nano fish, the small ones. Look at this guy, man. These rainbows are good. These galaxy resboras are good. So you see this uh, tank is like leveled up. Let me show you some from the side, like 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 little like stairs. So the land where I come from, the riverbed, it's kind of like that. It reminded me of my land of where I grew up. So I, I haven't been there for many, many years. Yeah, cardinals are good, but I like, you know, I see this fish, I like them, I bring this. I, I brought some pseudomigos, they jumped out. Uh, they're in heaven now. You see them? I have them dried up. This guys jumped up months ago they're not alive <clears throat> so i have a cat cat came and spooked the fish fish jumped out and they died i have one female i kept it in the other tank which is closed this one is 10 gallon no 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 here Yeah, no, the fish are chips. I have them over here just to remind me that they can die. Even how pretty they are, they can jump, they can die. Just a reminder that anything can die. Yeah, this is only a 10 gallon next to my pillow. This is where I sleep, my bed. And... I have it right next to me on the stand. The f I use equilibrium to uh, mineral the water because I use RO on this tank and I use some uh, Flourish XL. There's a little bit of hair algae in there. I got some moss growing. I got getting the algae under control more. So you got to clean it no matter what. This light is pretty bright, as you see. I don't have it on all the time. This is during the day. I usually have it on at night for five, six hours. Those are new plants. I'm a cichlid guy too, Michigan Aquatics. I got so much breeding right now, man. I got Pseudomigos breeding. Those are the Neolamprologus. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Neolamprologus. Caropunctaras, sorry. And there's uh, another one. What is it called? Those calves. I have babies of calves. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me let me let me hang up on this video. Let's go one more minute, ten minutes, and then I'll go live back again on that other cichlid tank that show you the babies, the calves, and there's a uh, what is it called in there? Juliochromus is breeding too. I got babies of Juliochromus in there too, in that 130 gallon. And there is another Bacardii breeding. I have uh, my previous video I made about those cichlids, the flower horn babies. I have a lot of cichlids. Cichlids are my favorite fish. But this is something very relaxing. Just to look at that, you know, look, look how beautiful it is. Good. Africans, 
are cool. African cichlids are, uh, you know, they're colorful, they're pretty, they're strong, they're... I know which ones you got. You got big cichlids. I know what you're saying. They got big tilapias. I got some tilapias too. Uh, the, the big, big cichlids, the jaguars and red devils. Those are gorgeous, yes. Alrighty. You guys have a good one. I'm going to go show you the other tank in the house. Actually, you know what? I'm going to walk through the house, watch the ceilings. We can do that. We don't have to turn off this thing. Here's one of my other tanks with Groot in front of it. It's doing good. This is growing a lot of nice plants in here. There's nothing but shrimp, black shrimp in there. I have the lights off right now. But there's little light on top showing. And hold on, let me show you this tank again. I, the other fish is in here. A few of them in here. Three in here, four in there. So seven total, I believe. And there's a little bit of a shrimp, bunch of shrimps in here. That's the Ciro Migo with the blue eye. And the yellow eye ones are those pink tailed rainbow, they call them feather fin, threaded fin. My tanks are free of algae. Okay, well, secrets is plants. Everybody knows. Uh, this tank is amazing. I like it. The wife likes it. It's got a lot of uh, shrimps on it. This is next to the wife's. Look, there's like a mono shrimp. There's red cherry shrimp right in front of us. There's a cherry shrimp. Oh, you think you can make a hybrid? Oh, well, we'll see. That would be crazy, huh? but I don't know if they can hatch in this tank, do they? Or you got to pull the eggs out and hatch them yourself in a little cup with a bunch of peat moss and stuff like that i hear it's a lot of work i don't want to mess with it i just want to enjoy the fish just look at the pretty you know i don't want to sell them i don't want to breed these guys it's not uh fun to breed them i don't know i wouldn't be able to man it's a lot of work i'm doing already other stuff i got a lot of babies raising the tanzanican i'm feeding those a lot of uh baby brine shrimp so this guy's Blue eye feather fan, huh? I think uh, some rainbow enthusiastic people, if they see this freaking people, I mix them up together, they're gonna be like, no, take that fish out of there, don't breed them. Well, let's go. guess what, guys? I'm never gonna breed them. Even if I see babies, I won't sell them. Uh, just gonna stay here. I would love to see some blue eye feather fin with those pink tail. <laughs> that would be nice, huh? Crazy. So they look like they're happy. Those are omnivores, so they eat brine shrimp. They eat, uh, what you call it? Algae pellets, algae flakes. They're looking good. The kids are roughhousing inside. I want to show you guys that those babies, but excuse the kids, man. They're being loud. And so let me show you some of this. Got nice plants in there growing. Some bussy flandras. There's a snail right there. There's a nice teddy bear in the back.
This is the baby's bed next to it. And the mama, mama sleeps right there. There's some nice shrimp in here. Let me see if I can find that one beautiful three color shrimp. I seen red, I seen blue and white. So it was like a three, four colors. They call them Riley shrimp, Riley, red Rileys, but this red Riley had blue in it, in the white. Let me see if I can find this guy. They're everywhere. So many of them. They're like literally in the holes and everywhere. Yeah, I don't see it. I do not see it with my bare eyes. I don't, I can't find it. Beautiful shrimps though, those are nice red shrimps. They get along with the little tiny mouth rainbows. They won't eat them. I'm sure they won't eat them. They might eat the babies, but not the... Look at that one leaf. It has one shrimp on top, one shrimp on the bottom. One shrimp on the bottom, one shrimp on top. They're grazing on something. Hey, take it easy. Later. I'm on the hang up too.